Hi everyone, peace and love always. Hi, how are ya? I am just here walking this beautiful trail. It's a beautiful Tuesday, April 13th. I'm just so grateful to be able to get out here before my, my class tonight. At six, I only have two more classes and I graduate to be a confidential sexual violence advocate. <laughs> and I'm so super excited to start that journey and, and help as many people as I can get through any sexual violence that, that happens to them. And I just want to try to empower them to let them know this too shall pass and you are not a victim, you're a survivor. So yeah, super excited to be done with that course in two weeks. We do have a final test that we have to pass, but pretty sure I can do it, so could just send me any good luck vibes I'd appreciate it <laughs> oh look at those mushies I'm so excited to be back here at this trail today because the last time I came to you from this trail there was some vandalism and it kind of upset me so I just want to I've heard that it's been fixed and I'm just so excited to be back here. This beautiful space that my town has provided. <sighs> it's kind of like a bird watching space here. They have the, I'm gonna call it a telescope. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but yeah. So there was two benches, but it's okay. One bench is fine. Ah, whew. Mm, look how pretty and the matrix in the background, but doesn't even matter. <laughs> Those clouds are beautiful. So I did have a message that I wanted to talk about quickly and the message I received last night was because every night I just pray and I and you know I, I get into my head like how can we evolve as a species and stop the hurt and stop the pain stop the constant cycles of hurt people hurt people and i want to retaliate against you and i don't like you because of this and so the one thing that really stood out to me last night a message i received was we have to stop being so scared to share our struggles you know, we have to, listen, if you're my friend nowadays, which I have lost, I don't like the word lost because I didn't lose many friends. We'll say I, I cut out distractions <laughs> that were calling themselves friends, um, but if you are in my life currently, trust me, I have done a lot of inner questioning, inner questioning through my heart, um, whether you're supposed to be there. And so if you are in my life currently, and we cannot be real with each other 100% without one of us getting offended or, you know, and it's okay to be offended, but, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, I want someone real and raw in my life. 
even to tell me the things that I might not want to hear in that moment, but that will help me on my journey. And that's what I'm here to say. We have to start getting real and letting our truth out there, even if our voice is shaking. You know, when I first came out um, that I dealt with sexual violence in not only the military, but in my life in general, since I was a teenager, I mean, you know, and, and it's real. And it's real. I honestly, I empathize with with the young girls in these days and age because I can't even imagine with the phones, with, with porno right at your fingertips. You know, we have to speak up and speak out. And, and when something is not okay, speak it. Let it be known. Don't hold it in and let it fester inside of you because all that's doing is hurting you. Let it out. We have to stop suppressing our truths. I hope that makes sense. So if you're in my life right now, please tell me the truth about myself. I'm, I'm begging you, please do because then I can either work on it and try and, and fix that thing or whatever it is, please call me out. Because if you're in my life, I'm gonna call you out. So just be aware. <laughs> I'm sick of suppression. Suppression leads to depression. And I was depressed for far too long, far too long over things that were done to me. And why? <laughs> why? Because those people, those things have moved on and I'm still stuck? No, that is not how life is supposed to be. <sighs> there are many techniques. And if you need any of those techniques to release something that has been inside of you or you just need someone to talk to, I am here. Please reach out. Leave a comment below. And I will get back to you. I want you all to know I'm here for you. We are here for each other. We are the human race. And we need to come together like the beautiful Mother Gaia does with, with all of her beings. Connect, speak, sing, dance, whatever. So, I hope y'all are having a great day. I love you so much. Peace and love always. I'll catch you later. Please give this video a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. I love you so much. Bye.